-hmm. What they are saying is, those men got down from the boat onto the beaches of Mumbai, took taxis, divided themselves into a pair of twos, two. and then... So basically there were ten people in a pair of two, five groups. Five, five groups. Mm -hmm. And one group, which consisting of Ajmal Kasab and Ismail, they take two taxis. They sit in separate taxis. Why? Why was that so? Suppose when they were pairing together, and so the two taxis were supposed to follow each other, apparently, okay. mm -hmm. and then they get down and put and plant bombs in those taxis, while they walk okay. away, the bombs explode behind them, killing the taxi drivers. What kind of rubbish story is this? Even, even third-rate cinema writers, script writers could come up with better stories. Because if the objective of those two men, supposedly, was to kill people in a certain place, mm -hmm. why would they draw the attention of the entire world by blowing up two empty taxis, when they have already go when they have already alighted from them, when they have already gotten off from them. And what and they, they would be very stupid if they would do that, Very right? stupid to use their explosive devices to blow up two empty taxis when nobody's For no reason. After. For just, no reason. Yeah, Absolutely Just to no be in the limelight, maybe. Just to be in the limelight. So oh. this is, again, one of the proof. This that is what the Indians this say? Is what the, this is the Indian dossier is saying. Oh, God. Would you believe this? Okay. Yeah. I mean, one can, I have seen comedies, but this is probably, this beats them all. And the final part is, we come to the story where the Indian dossier writes about the incident. Okay, now it says, okay, just, just, it says one taxi was blown up at Vadi Bandar and the other at Vili Parli, killing the two taxi, taxi drivers. drivers. So, and Rubbish. just creating a scene that, oh, creating wow, a Mumbai, scene, Mumbai two is bomb explosions attack, right? for no reason, it. while the terrorists are still walking on the feet, along with their weapon caches and weapon backpacks full of okay. weapons. Okay, what, 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 what next? What happened after that? You see, the funny part again, keep one thing in mind, mm -hmm. then the Indian police is saying, the Indian record, the Indian dossier is saying, two terrorists walk into the railway station, mm -hmm. kill almost 200 people. Okay, now, now the story now is, just stop they're, they're off from the boat, they're in a cab, in two cabs rather, these two characters, Kasab and they smile, and then they blow up those taxis and they got out and they now they are going to the railway, railway station. station. Then they okay. go to the railway station. Okay. So they have reached the railway station mm -hmm. now, then they take out their guns, start slaughtering people left, right and center. Mm -hmm. Now Indian You're talking about the Bombay railway station, imagine. We are imagine. talking about the oh, Bombay okay. railway station with 3.5 million people use that every day. That's the Bombay railway station we are talking about. And they are saying, the dossier is saying, there were few policemen here and there who tried to stop those men. Few policemen? Surely the policemen were more than two, because according to the dossier, there were only two terrorists. So the few means not one? Few means not one. Could few be means two not or could two. be 20. And now if you remember the, the news report that D'Souza, that photographer, mm -hmm. which his report that we quoted now earlier, we, yeah. now yeah. we go back there, okay, okay. and D'Souza said at that time, the police if I were, had a if gun, I, had a of gun a I would have shot them, and police were all around them, covering them, but not shooting at them. So this Indian dossier, that police fought with them and they fought their way through, and they killed hundreds of people, and not a, and they don't get shot themselves. What kind? Even the weirdest of Hollywood or Bollywood movies don't come up with this kind of stupid plot. Matrix, maybe. May, you see, and those two <laughs> men. Imagine they kill almost 200 people, kill or wounded. Can you imagine how much ammunition they would use? How much ammunition to kill 200 people? You need to fire thousands of bullets. How oh, absolutely? You see, and then they walk out from the railway station and start walking on Mumbai streets, what about firing around. What pictures were entering really? through some? Uh, Scanners, scanners or something? You see, again, this is, not clear. The, again, this is now, not clear. Technically speaking, technically speaking, if they went to the railway station, those scanners were supposed to be there then, because that's the only pictures and they have. Indians are never mentioned, okay, those, because the pictures supposedly taking those two men walking out to walk through gates. Mm -hmm. Walk through gates are supposed to be in the hotels, not at the railway station. That's I what guess. I'm saying. Because in a railway station with 3.5 million people, you won't be using walk through gates there. And, and then, and these men, according to the police report, never made it to any hotel. They came out from this. Now you, you just keep on. And they hijacked different vehicles, kept fighting with the police all the way. And on the way, one of them was killed, and the other, Ajmal Kasab, was captured alive. This is what the dossier is saying. So, Zed, what exactly happened once they got out of the railway station, according to the Indian intelligence version? You see, this is the dossier which is saying everything. According to the Indian dossier, those two men, one of them was Ajmal Kasab, other was Ismail, mm -hmm. after slaughtering people and coming out of the cordon of hundreds of policemen from the railway station, they come out and safe they... Safe and sound. Safe and sound. No injuries, no nothing. No injuries. And mm -hmm. they are on the road. And okay. then they conduct certain, some adventures. They hijack a police vehicle. They kill so many policemen. They hijack a police hijack vehicle. A police vehicle okay. And then they drive and they hijack another car. And then they come across a barricade of police. And finally, an exchange of fire takes place and Ismail was killed and Ajmal Kasab was captured alive, no, according, this is according the to the dossier. So everything that happened, 
with it happened on the first night within first couple of hours because after the, their rampage supposed rampage at the railway station mm -hmm. it did not take them more than an hour to do all this which the indian dossier is saying obviously now but now here two things are very very critical one thing is the one picture of ajmal kasab and ismail shows them at the gate of a hotel and the funny part is they never reached any hotel because so one was killed and the other one was captured exactly right after the railway station they were supposedly they were killed and captured on the road side mm -hmm. so how come their picture is shown in a hotel that's part one that's just, that's a big question mark that's now. a big question mark and mm -hmm. second thing is they were captured within the first hour of the operation according to this dossier okay but the news of his being captured alive came to us after 60 hours almost 3 4 days almost 4 days mm -hmm. when everything was over and all entire operation in the taj hotel was over then the indian media says they have killed all and captured one and remember this the belfast telegraph reports categorically says they captured so many people not one but they let them go or they are hushing up everything because they were americans they were Mar mauritanians they were british and they were malaysians and they had those documents so Keep that report in mind. Keep this information in mind with the dossier is giving. The Huge contradiction. contradiction. Contradiction is hilarious. Contradiction is ridiculous actually. And it doesn't make sense. The man is killed on the street. How can he be pictured in Taj Hotel or Oberoi Hotel? Mm -hmm. According to this, he was killed on the streets. And with the two separate stories. Two now. separate stories because according to them, the Taj Hotel again is one of their icon, seven star or five star hotel. The four men, according to this dossier, mm -hmm. entered that hotel, and those four men kept. Now, 4, now the story they were, they were the, the story is according to the Indian intelligence agency or whatever. Or the dossier, or, or, the dossier that they've given. There were ten people. They got into a group of uh, two each, a pair, five pairs. One pair, one guy is killed, one is captured. Ajmal Kasab is captured. Yeah. Now there are eight left. Four get into Taj Mahal. Four, yani two pairs get into Taj Hotel. Okay. One goes into Oberoi. Okay. And was into that Jewish house. Okay. One so group now, now everybody is so placed. Everybody is placed. Okay. There. Perfect. Right? So Taj Hotel has got four people according to the Indian dossier, mm -hmm. and four thousand cops, commandos, special forces kept battling them for what sixty hours? Yeah, that's what they said. Wow. That's some score. That's some performance. Mm -hmm. That's some efficiency. One to one thousand. One to one thousand, mm -hmm. and they hold out. And how, how, how is it possible? How much weapon were, were they carrying? And how much weapon can you actually hold? Can you actually hold? And how much weapon can you actually carry? You see? And this is the funny part. And now I'm going to quote a few more things to you. Something very interesting. Because coming to, coming to the segment where Indian says that they have captured the communication, telephonic conversation between mm -hmm. their handlers in Pakistan mm -hmm. and the terrorists. And the conversation they give is from the Jewish house. And the fact of the matter is that this information cannot be verified for simple reason that both these men supposedly whom they placed in the Jewish house mm -hmm. were dead. So the dead people don't speak. And naturally, there is absolutely no proof for any conversation. The only conversation we have heard which the person was talking from the Jewish house to the, te to the television anchor, he was speaking Hindi. Not Urdu. We have discussed that yeah. earlier. And that and recording there were 10, 11, 12 words used exactly. which Urdu... And that conversation was done from the Jewish center, from the Jewish house. So basically, this information that Pakistanis from Pakistan were controlling their assets or terrorists inside the Jewish center is ridiculous again, because when, they, when you read these transcripts to a Western audience, they cannot make out that this language is Hindi or Urdu. But so, we understand. But actually. we understand. Yeah. So if you translate this conversation in English, you would feel, wow, they've got a transcript like that, like conversation the, the, the going on. the difference between an American and a British. Simple. You see? And the and a Western audience would say, okay, a conversation has been recorded, assuming that this is what the Indian Raw and Mossad is saying is true, which of course ridiculous to assume itself they would speak they would be speaking the truth. And you translate that in English because the British papers have reproduced certain conversations. Mm -hmm.